nice to meet to you. Meet Joe, you. welcome. Come on in. Thank you. When I first met the family, they were pleased to see me. Okay. Obviously, glad I was there. This is Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Pleased to meet you. And this is Lily and Luke. How are you? Good. And you've got another one, right? Yes. Eric. Eric, where's Eric? Eric's not home yet from school. He He's not be home in a few minutes. Big Eric's at work, is that right? Big Eric's working. See? When Joe arrived, it was very exciting, but also nerve wracking. You know, I was really anxious. Kind of fear of the unknown. I started to watch the family straight away. And what I saw were twins, Luke and Lily, with pacifiers in their mouth. And apparently these binkies don't come out for nothing. You don't have to eat it all, just take a few more bites. <laughs> when four-year-old little Luke wouldn't eat, Mum used his binky as a reward. Binky! What do you, no, you don't need a binky until you eat your lunch. <laughs> Binkies are an aid to serve a purpose for a very short period of time, and then they should be gotten rid of. And these haven't been gotten rid of, and they've now become an emotional crutch. These kids are four years old. Eventually, Mum gave in, and she let him have his binky anyway. I see your lips. Look how sore your lips are. They're raw. At what point do you not wake up as a parent and see this and go, we need to do something about this? It's convenient for them to keep the binkies in their mouth and use the binkies as a tool when they misbehave. But actually, they're not seeing the damage that it's causing here. Let's talk about the development of the twins. You've got the kids on pacifiers. Binky galore in this house. When you're looking at your son and he's got chapped lips that have split and broken, when you're actually having to tell your children to take the binkies out of their mouth because you can't hear them, at what point doesn't the light bulb switch on? I didn't think the binkies was that, was that major of an issue. You would rather they have the binky rather than cry, even if it's damaging them health-wise. I can't even defend myself, so. That's crazy. With mum and dad now doing right, it's time to tackle the kids. We've got twins who are four years old and they are constantly sucking on those pacifiers and it really isn't any good for them. So what I'm going to do is introduce them to a very special young lady. This is our own Binky Fairy. We're going to explain to the children that the Binky Fairy came and that the Binky Fairy is collecting all the binkies to give to the babies that need them. And we're going to help the Binky Fairy. And then it was showtime. You know what this is? Look at Lily. Do you know who that is? It's the Binky Fairy. Binky Fairy. That's her. She came to visit. See the net she has? So she's here today. She wants to help us collect all the binkies and bring them to the little babies. As I suspected, Luke wasn't going to give up his pacifier without a real fight. So are you going to help us? You don't need that. You want to put a high five, Lily. Lily was more than ready to hand over her pacifier. She wanted to be a big girl. She wanted to show us all she was a big girl. Luke, on the other hand, was devastated. Come here. That, 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 you have to learn to be able to do this, okay? You're a big boy now, and you don't need that binky anymore. No. Yeah. No. I did not think I would be able to just take the binkies away from them. No. Yeah, we're going to take the binky, okay? No, the binky You're fairy is. The binky fairy needs it. You are a big boy now, okay? And it's not good for you anymore. I got to take it, all right? No, 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 no. And he wasn't a happy chappy. Just place the binky fairy up somewhere in the kitchen. Yeah. You're a big boy now. But you are. Your turn to spin. Binky! Binky! 
After almost an hour, Luke did mm. finally calm down. So tomorrow I want to finish off the Binky Fairy because I've got a little surprise for them. On my next day of teaching, there were two issues that I still needed to take care of. First being the Binky Fairy had come overnight and left these kids some little surprises. Daddy, where's the Binky Fairy? Fly away. Guess what she brought you? What's this? Joe's Passiferi technique works. That one's Luffy's. That one's yours. What is it? It's your favorite. Dinosaur. Huh? Aren't you glad you did it now? Even though Luke was very resistant at first, as soon as he got his present, I knew that mum and dad knew that he would be okay. A bit of magic and a bit of willpower. Mm -hmm. Gives them right. Right. A bit of yeah. magic and a little bit of willpower. Yeah. Ah! And some understanding of the importance of why. Yeah. Yeah, look awesome. at them, look. Happy as Larry. And I thought it was going to be much worse. And it wasn't. 